check this out guys it's a few days later now and I continue to weather this tanker it's a wee bit different from the last time you've seen it It's got a wee bit more heavier dosage. And so there's holes. Under that grime is the drawers. So yeah, what I did was um, <coughs> I wasn't entirely happy with it, so I kept on spraying it with a bit of kerosene and oh, hello Bannock. Yep. Oh yeah, move your ass please, come on. <laughs> You're not camera shy, are you? Hey. No, really shit. No. Disturbance. Um, yeah, so what I did was I sprayed it with kerosene again and, and um, knocked some of it back and then uh, water to wash off some of the dust. What else? Yeah, just kept on knocking it back, pouring a little bit on, blowing a little dust on, and it kind of built up over a time. Um, so it doesn't, yeah, it looks a bit better than it did before. So this is it. I'm walking away from it. I don't want to overdo it. And you could argue it's already been overdone. Hmm. But it looks a bit more natural now. I'm top there. Yep. I was under Ross's truck yesterday, or earlier last week, helping him replace the shocks. So I'll upload a video of that soon. And um, I noticed that this is pretty close to what you'd see under old trucks and that sort of thing, so I'm happy with it. It definitely looks better. Yep. So just a quick update on how it looks now. Excuse me, dog. He made a mess chewing up stuff this morning. He doesn't look very repentant though, I must say. Business as usual with that fella. Yep. So, yeah. That's all i got to show you on this one. It's just a quick update. i do a running video of this soon. It's, um... I don't encapsulate any of this. Or, you know, I don't spray it with clear coat, so... You don't really want to touch it, because it's grimy and disgusting and dusty and dirty and sharp metal wedges, rusty, this thing's cut me plenty of times. Yeah. Anyway guys, that'll do. Catch you on the next one.